This is going to be a day hike on the Specimen Ridge Trail in Yellowstone National Park. The Specimen Ridge Trail is located in the northern part of the park. To give you an idea where this is, this is the uh, Tower Roosevelt area right up here. Here is the northeast entrance highway that takes you up to Cook City. Here's an outline of the trail that takes you southeast from the trailhead. I'm going to be hiking this trail all the way up to the top of Amethyst Mountain. This is Amethyst Mountain. Amethyst Mountain is 9,614 feet high. I think it's named after a kind of rock. It's a, um, I think it's a purple colored quartz of some type. This, this hike is 22 miles round trip, 11 miles up, 11 miles back. You start out at an elevation of 6,282 feet. So that would be an elevation gain of about 3,332 feet, but that's a little misleading because once you do all the little ups and downs and over all the little ridges and peaks, you, you'll end up doing over 4,000 vertical feet on this hike. So I'm going to do this hike to see what kind of wildlife we can spot in this area. Here I am. I'm just hiking around the uh, trailhead area of this uh, specimen ridge hike that I'm going, going to actually start tomorrow morning. But uh, just right here around the trail area, there's this uh, black bear. Pretty much trying to ignore me. Oh, here's another black bear. This one's a little smaller and skinnier, but I'm still right here within a half mile of the trailhead. So um, it's pretty good. I'm going to be hiking right through here in the dark in the morning. So that should make it exciting. So about the first mile I was hiking in the dark, I just got up here to this first ridge and there is a little uh, coyote watching me there. These little sheep are pretty tame. You can get within 10, 15 feet of them. There's a herd of about 20 to 50 of them that kind of hang around this area, all within a mile of the uh, Specimen Ridge Trailhead. I don't know much about these, but I think it's some type of marmot, probably a yellow-bellied marmot. There is a big herd of bison up there. The trail is going to pass right down, right through the bottom there. So we need to be careful that we don't spook them very much.
looks like a grizzly bear. Way up there on that ridge. I'm going to be passing to the left of it. It's about a half mile away. Okay, now I'm uh, close by that area where that grizzly bear was. Um, got my bear spray out. Moving slowly, watching, being careful. This is looking kind of to the southeast, and that is looking to the northwest, kind of where I started from. I'm going to have to go around here to the right. He's going to stand right there on the trail. Up here a little bit on top, gone about eight miles so far, and have about three more miles to go in that direction. This is really fresh grizzly scat. So there's a uh, grizzly bear right around here somewhere. I can't see it anywhere. If we pass through here, he's probably down in the trees somewhere right now. that view. It's looking uh, to the north. That is, that is actually outside of the park out there. I hope that's the top right there. Not totally sure yet. Well, it turns out that wasn't the top. I'm on, on the top of that peak right now. I still have to go over to that peak, which is still, looks like about a mile away. I think that one was the top. Now we're at the top. I'm sure this is the top right here.
Now I've come back down about two miles. This is kind of looking to the north, northeast a little bit. I'm up here on the last ridge on my way back, only about oh, a little over a mile from the trailhead, and I'm looking down, and I can see a mother grizzly with a cub down there. She's heading, heading right for the highway and the trailhead. It's only about a half a mile away from uh, the highway, or less than that.